Hello and welcome to the Lipstick Living channel. I'm Rachel and you can find me on Instagram at the Lipstick Living. Please like this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. So today's video is obviously my February bullet journal setup and I did a few things before I started. So I made this little envelope to my left and uh, cut out the this notebook paper and pasted it on, I glued it on this like translucent kind of um, vellum paper and then put it in this little pocket. And then I stamped, I have a stamp from Allie Edwards that uh, it's for the Pieces of Me project, and it says loving myself exactly as I am. So I um, stamped that onto a piece of paper and cut that out, and I'm gonna use that heart on top of my envelope. And then I did the same thing for my letters. I stamped out FEB for February onto some, you know, cardstock paper and cut that out. And then I am, I just cut out a little square of cardstock and I pasted it on this paper that had cursive script on it. I thought it was very fitting for my theme because I'm doing like a love letter theme for February since it's Valentine's Day. So I just decided to use that as my background for my main page. And I needed something quick because I was running out of time. So I did more of like a scrapbook kind of theme, I guess. I didn't really do mini doodles. So then I just drew a mini little calendar for February on that. And then now I am pasting this little envelope I made out of craft paper. And I'm gonna make an envelope later on in the video so you can see exactly how to do it. So I will show you that in just a minute. And then I used this little washi tape that I have with gold hearts on it for the sides of this envelope. So now I'm just writing out a letter to myself and I will write this in a little bit later. I don't write it in the video, I do it a little bit later, but I made a reel for my Instagram. So if you are interested in seeing the letter that I write out, you can check out my Instagram. Okay, so now I am doing my calendar setup and this month I decided to do a Dutch door. So my Dutch door is going to be my for my content, so that's where I'm going to plan my content for Instagram and YouTube. And then on the left side, I am making my February calendar. Since I have the B5 planner this year, it's a lot larger, so I can fit a calendar onto one side, which is really nice. I think that's going to come in handy. Okay, so I start to draw some hearts below my calendar, and then later on I decide that it doesn't really fit with my theme, so I cover it up with craft paper. I actually have some craft bullet journal paper from Archer and Olive that I cut out and just cover over it, so you'll see that later, but I just wanted to preface it with that because it's definitely going to change. I, I thought it would be cute for February and then I realized it doesn't really fit in with my love letter theme so I cover it up and then I draw some like little envelopes at the bottom. So now I'm just covering my tab with this heart washi tape that I have and then I found a pen or it's a marker from Allie Edwards that actually writes on the washi tape very well. So I just write out Instagram on one side and then on the other side I write YouTube. And then I had originally planned, I had stamped out February and I was gonna cut these up into little squares. And I mean, I do that and I tape it uh, or I glue it on the top of my calendar, but then I end up changing it and I just stamp out February on this little craft paper strip and I glue it over it. So you'll see that in a little bit.
So for my content planner, I kept it really simple. I'm basically just putting my ideas of what I would like to post on what day. So I just put ideas at the top and then I number out days 1 through 28 since there's 28 in February. And then at the bottom, I am just going to keep a tracker of how many followers I have at the beginning of the month, middle of the month, and then at the end. And I just want to see if me posting consistently actually gains me followers, if it's helping. So I thought I would track that. I might not do this every single month, but I had some extra space at the bottom, so I thought I would. So now I'm just doing the YouTube side pretty much the same exact way as the Instagram side. Okay, so now I am moving on to my mood tracker. I decide not to do a full setup for a habit tracker in this spread because I am going to do little habit trackers on my weekly spreads and I'm gonna track them there because this bullet journal, like I said, is a lot bigger. So on my weekly setups, I'll have some more space to where I can just add a habit tracker for each week. And I also track my habits in my Power Sheets goal planner. So I didn't wanna have it in a million different places. So I'm just doing a mood tracker setup and I decided to do little envelopes for each day and then I will color it in according to my mood.
So the next setup I'm doing is one line a day, and then on the left side, I do a self-care bingo. So I've done this once before. I did it last year for my February setup, and I loved doing it. I thought it was really fun, so I wanted to do it again. So I just stamped out the letters, uh, or I stamped out the word line, and then I'm just gluing that down and basically it's just kind of like a little memory keeper. I'm just going to write down a line of something about my day, something that I did and hopefully I can look back on it and see what was going on because I just don't have time right now in my schedule to journal a whole page every single day. So uh, one line is a lot easier to accomplish. So now I am working on my bingo self-care setup, and this is where I'm going to make my envelope. So I cut out this craft bullet journal paper from Archer and Olive. I just cut out a little square. I think I measured it five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and then I measured out the larger white cardstock paper. Um, it was, I think, nine by nine, and then I just put that little craft paper in a diagonal or in a diamond shape on the square paper and then I fold it in and I do have to cut off once I fold it in I have to cut off the little triangles on the corner so that it lays flat so I did that just now and then I'm evening out the sides of the envelope because I don't want the sides to be uneven right there so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just kind of shaving off uh, the sides of the envelope okay so once I get that mostly even then I, I made sure that that fit in there first off and then I uh, want to round off the middle part so I do that in a second I think I still need to cut off a little bit. There we go. So now I think I have it pretty even. And then I want to round off the middle. So that's what I'm going to work on next. I don't like that little sharp point. It doesn't really look realistic like a normal envelope. So I just round it off. And then I shave off little pieces that you can see once it's folded. So then once I finish that, I just use some double-sided tape to tape everything down. Okay, now that I have my envelope done, I am just making a grid on this craft paper, and I believe I do the spaces 
five dots by five, so just five by five spaces. And then I write in all the things that I want to do for that month, and I just named this self-care bingo. And I use my stamps, my little alphabet stamps, to write out bingo. So the things that I write on this are um, take a bath, cuddle, give a hug, tell someone I love them, kiss them or kiss someone, get a massage, do a facial, have some wine, paint nails, read, meditate, do some crafts. Take a, I wrote take a bath a couple of times, I think. Go to dinner. Watch a movie. Watch a video. Listen to music. Light a candle. Go for a walk. Buy something. <laughs> journal, eat a dessert, do yoga, color, call a friend, and cuddle. Okay, so my next setup is going to be my first week of February. Oh, I think I forgot that I wanted to add some washi tape to this, the little washi tape with gold hearts. So I just add a strip at the bottom. I was like, it's just too bare. And then I go back in and color in those envelopes on that page too. I put some red in some places in a little bit. And then I think this is when I decide to cover this up. Yes, so I decided to cover the top and the bottom with this craft paper. Before I glue it down, I start to stamp February out with my alphabet, alphabet letters. And the ink that I'm using, if I didn't mention it, is Stays On and it is in the shade Blazing Red. And I will link all the supplies that I use down below. So now I'm going to glue these strips down and cut off the edges. And I just peeled these off. This is why I use a glue stick in my bullet journal because I move around things a lot. Once I put it down, sometimes I decide I don't like it, so it's just easy to remove things when you use a glue stick rather than double-sided tape. But for the envelopes, I needed to, that second envelope was too thick. The cardstock paper is just too thick that I didn't think it would stick with, uh, with a glue stick, so I used double-sided tape for that. But um, for any little things, I use glue, a, a glue stick. Okay, so now, I have the second one down and then I just do, I draw some doodles on the bottom part. I draw little envelopes and I think they turn out pretty cute. And I just think it goes with the theme a little bit better. And then I decide to use that same washi tape for little strips on the top and the bottom to tie that in. Okay, so now I am moving on to my first weekly setup and I decided to do a little mini calendar in the top left corner and I just put that on a little piece of paper that looks like it's coming out of an envelope. And then I have little rectangular boxes on the right for each day in the week. I've been using this setup very consistently for, I would say for at least the past six months. 
for my first week. It's just an easy go-to setup and I have enough room on each day to write my daily tasks and then I have room for like the little calendar. It's nice to look at, to glance at. And then I have room for like either a doodle or a quote or you know, my habits, which I add to this one. And then I accidentally draw past the lines, so I just used my white gel pen to cover that up. And then I had decided when I got that gel pen out that I wanted to add some little uh, marks to my envelopes on the craft paper. I thought it would make it pop a little bit more. So I add that there, and then I flip back and just cover those mistakes that I made. And then I stamp out Monday through Sunday on each day. And I always do a Monday start in my planning, in all my planners. And since I didn't really have much room for any doodles on this setup, I just added that washi tape strip at the bottom. And then I write out my habits, which I put AM routine, make bed, move, crafts, read, and eat healthy. And then I color in some little things on the envelopes on that page. And now I'm doing my final flip through of my February setup. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video.